What's going on YouTube? Robbie again, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Sky Stalker. Uh, and this is another one of the uh, deluxe Predacons that we're getting from the Beast Hunters line. Uh, he is a, an Ice Dragon, as far as I can tell. Uh, and he comes with Cryo Strike Double Disc Launchers. Um, now, from everything I can see, he seems to be the most uh, kind of egregious of the stand -em up and <laughs> and he's a robot. Uh, Transformers uh, from this line, but I don't know. There may be some surprises that, uh, that I haven't haven't seen yet, and maybe he'll just be so cool that it won't matter. Uh, but either way, he he looks like a pretty cool dragon uh, from here. Uh, very nice looking, very very mean looking, and uh, you can see on the side we've got his technical data. Pretty uh, pretty decent. Pretty high up there. All these Predacons are looking pretty, uh, pretty nasty. Uh, on the back of the back of the package, we have Sky Stalkers, an ice cold Predacon warrior with the power to annihilate all who stand before him. Uh, so he's got the Cryo Strike double disc launchers, and tail becomes mace. And I guess the mace just goes over his hand like that. So. Okay, um, I'm interested to see him in hand, so I'm gonna open this guy up and we'll uh, we'll check him out together. All right. Okay, here we have Predacon Sky Stalker in Beast Mode, and uh, yeah, his Beast Mode's actually pretty cool. Um, I wasn't sure quite what to make of it, and I mean, I went into this kind of uh, definitely on the fence. Just because he is such a, like, stand-up and he's transformed kind of transformer, uh, I wasn't thinking that his, his beast mode would really convince me of anything. Uh, but it's actually a very nice, very nice dragon uh, representation. You can see he has, um, he's got all kinds of articulation. Uh, basically the same articulation he has in, in robot mode. His, his arms are ball jointed at the shoulders and he's got a swivel and a, a hinge at the elbow um, his dragon claws are on ball joints they're a little bit limited by the shape but uh, other than that they move pretty freely his head can uh, rotate go in and out up and down kind of sort of uh, and his head itself is on like a, a swivel and then another another uh, swiveling hinge as well as an opening jaw. Uh, tail can move, you can lift it or whatever, but it, it will, it, it uses his tail to kind of hold together as a dragon, uh, so you don't want to really move that around too much. Uh, ball jointed hips, <laughs> just like that. Uh, he does have a swivel there, you just have to be careful. Um, he does have the double knee, and uh, of course his dragon feet can, uh, can move. Around he has some uh, some articulation in the wings as well. These can go uh, down a little bit, as well as if you want sort of a flying pose, you can uh, kind of bring the wings forward and out like so. And you can actually, if you want, as well rotate the uh, the top portion of the wings, which I think looks actually pretty cool to have kind of a like a separated wing and uh yeah so pretty decent articulation uh he does have this uh firing wing disc gimmick so you just hold the uh hold it here and just kind of push forward and it fires the disc out and uh, i think his wings look a lot better without the discs in so we'll just fire those off for now and yeah that's uh, that's basically the dragon mode. Uh, so to transform this guy is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, so you want to take the tail, and an, uh, one thing I, I will say right off the bat, um, mine is kind of floppy, and I don't know if that's going to be like a, a constant thing across the board, uh, but I think QC on, on my copy of this guy uh, is a little bit lacking because he is he is rather loose in some of his joints, especially in his arms. He's got very floppy arms, so just take note of that. Um, anyway, back on to transformation. Uh, so you just want to lift his 
tail up here, just like so. Uh, his hips are going to collapse together, just like that. You just want to straighten his legs out, like so. Mm -hmm. He has this little bit in the back of his dragon leg that comes out to become a heel spur. So he can stand up like so. So he is now essentially just a standing dragon. And uh, you actually want to take the shoulders and push them back. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Because it's kind of weird. It doesn't. So his. Yeah. Like his wings stick in there, and then. That's, there we go. Shoulders go up. So the wings can go up and down independently of the shoulders, but it doesn't quite work, at least on my copy. I may just be doing something wrong. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to lift, pull this forward. Or his whole midsection is going to kind of come back here. And his chest is going to open up oh, before that, actually. So we want to open his head up. Pull his robot head out, fold his chest back together, and then straighten out his torso so he's standing upright. Just like that, and there is his robot head. Very, um, very Animorphs looking. It reminds me a lot of Animorphs. Um, okay, so for his arms, you just want to take his hands and rotate them out, and then his dragon claws are just going to peg right here onto the sides of his arm. You'll see they have these little slots in the fingers. There we go. On the other side. Yeah, da, da, da. Meh. And yeah, you just want to stand them upright and there you have Skystalker. And uh... Yes, yes, to answer your question, he is just as goofy looking in person as he is in this video. Um, yeah, like, I want to like this guy a lot. <laughs> he's not bad, he's not a bad figure, but he is just, uh, he's just lacking something. I. Uh, it's a little he doesn't want to stand up I mean I got him to stand before um, without too much trouble but you're probably better off just giving him the super chicken legs but that's kind of a bummer and yeah there you go and uh, his the little tip of his tail comes off and you can stick that on his hand to become well it says a mace in the on the packaging but that's not really it's just like a little power glove <laughs> and yeah so you can you can spread his wings out you can give him his uh, guns facing forward if you so choose um, yeah articulation is the same as it was on the dragon mode basically his head loses a bit um, but you can still turn it side to side fairly well and yeah, uh, size comparison, we'll stick them, all I've got really near me is a Viacon, and I can't really get him to stand upright long enough to do anything beyond that, but uh, he's, he's a bit taller than the Viacon, he's a little, little bit taller for a deluxe, if you can get his legs kind of straightened out a little more, he'll be even, even taller, um, but yeah, I mean overall, not, not a terrible figure, just certainly not not the strongest dragon that they've put out so far. Um, yeah, but uh, I think that's going to about do it for this review. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys as always for watching. And uh, yeah, Skystalker. <laughs> I'm going to move on to Ratchet. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.